Welcome and welcome back to Granny Metalhead TV and thanks for dropping by. It's time for the first edition of Granny's Taken Too Soon. And no, I'm not dead and you're not seeing me from the afterlife. We're going to be spotlighting those artists whose lives were cut short. And unfortunately, music history is full of folks who died young. So all you little granny maniacs, gather around for my latest batch of ear candy. Because tonight's special guest from the great beyond is Cliff Burton. And we're checking out Metallica's Orion for Granny's Taken Too Soon. Now, this song was released on the 1996 album, Master of Puppets. And this is not just one of my all-time favorite Metallica songs or metal songs, but one of my all-time favorite songs, period, full stop. And one of the reasons why I love it so much is because it is the perfect showcase for the late Cliff Burton's bass playing. Now, unfortunately, this is the last album that Cliff played on because he was killed in a tragic bus tour crash on the way to Copenhagen during the European leg of their Damage Inc. tour for Master of Puppets. And he was only 24 years old. And that's just tragic. Now, Cliff was an absolute genius. And he used his bass in such a way that there are like two bass solos on this song. They're often mistaken for guitar solos. Now, the first one begins at 1 minute 24 seconds and then continues on to about... 2 minutes and 13 seconds in. And the second one is found much later in the song after his bass interlude, which begins around 6.30, or 6.36 and continues on to about 6.55 or so. Now, there's so much going on in the, this instrumental that you really do not miss the lyrics. It's constantly moving and changing. It's simply a brilliant song. And one song that the more you listen to it, the better it gets. Because, you know, it just rips your ass off right from the beginning since it's spinning out into the air to land in this bluesy sort of river of Cliff's uh, second bass solo, only to send it crashing over a monster waterfall at the end. Now, a fun fact about this song is that during the writing of Orion, it actually started out as the middle part of Welcome Home Sanitarium under the name Only Thing. That would have made that song huge. I mean, just monster long. But all right, guys, try to hang on to your asses because here is Metallica's Orion for Grannies Taken Too Soon.
Now that's what I grew up listening to, not an auto-tune inside a man. If you are blown away by that, dig the wax out of your ears and grow a tongue so that you will have some taste. Because that stuff was hella fire. Love it or hate it, let me know below. Now, as of January 20th, 2018, Orion has been played live in its entirety only 68 times. You might be thinking, only? What do you mean, only? But 68 times isn't a lot when you consider that it's been 36 years since Master of Puppets has been released. And there are a few bands out there that tour as hard as Metallica. And just to put this into context, as of March 3rd of 2016, Metallica has played the song Master of Puppets live 1,474 times. It is their most played song. So, you know, as opposed to 68, yeah, only 68. Now, I have seen Metallica play uh, live twice. I never got to see them do it with Cliff, though. I wish I had. But let me know below if you ever got to see them live with Cliff or where you were when you first heard this song. Maybe this was your first time. Or if it has any special meaning to you, I would love to hear about it. And I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. And if so, please like, subscribe, and join the Green Maniac family. And then hit that bell for all so that you don't miss anything. And then share this video with others so that they can learn about all this excellent music and these artists. It costs you nothing, but it really helps me out a lot. And if there is a song that you want me to play, let me know that below too. Thanks again for dropping by. Love to my husband, Eric. And love to all you Granny Maniacs. Granny Metalhead is out. We saw the new wave of British metal that was coming out. We knew it was going to hit like, you know, a couple of years before. We knew it was going to hit the States fairly soon. So, you know, we liked doing it. And, you know, we were doing it down in L.A. And a lot of people didn't know what, you know, what the hell was going on. If we do what we want to do, you know. If they consider that selling out, then uh, whatever. There's a lot of people think you sold out just because you're on a major label and are very popular. Or maybe you don't play a thousand miles an hour the whole time, or you know. I mean, we just we'd be doing the same thing if we were still on, you know, independent label. So what would you say to a band that's just starting out on the rock scene today? Do it, quit, do it. Do it. <laughs> you know, we're not trying to be something big and fancy. You know, it's just us doing what we do, and to keep it that way.